Thanks for watching this short video on how to track or record a donated inventory using QuickBooks Online Plus. You need the Plus because inventory is supported in Plus. So first off, just do a sales receipt. You know, it's a zero dollar sales receipt, right? I mean, there's no amount. Okay, you're donating it and you just choose the customer and I'm going to choose the product and service that I'm donating. It'll be books for resale and say that I'm donating 10 books, but the rate's zero and the amount is zero. Tag a class and, and a location if you want, and I'm depositing it not to undeposited funds, but just to the checking account. There's no reason to group this with other you know, payments on undeposited funds. So I'm just going to put it right to the checking account, and this will record the donation of the books, and it, it's not, you know, no one's paying for them. I'm just donating them. And then I still want to record the cost, though, of that inventory in the QBO Plus file. So we want to do a journal entry plus sign other journal entry and I created a chart of account called you know charitable contributions or charitable donations and I'm going to make an adjusting entry and I'm going to go ahead and debit the charitable donation expense account should find it there we go for the amount now you can quickly go to the products and services list if you don't know the cost right and just go to your item there and click edit and it would tell you right so I get 2325 and there are 10 of them, so 230, 250 would be my cost. So I'm going to be debiting the charitable donations expense account, 23, 250, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and credit the cost of goods sold account that that item's linked to because that $0 sales receipt, it did decrease inventory asset, increase the cost of goods sold for 230, 250. So there I have it. The cost of goods sold the items linked to 230-250, right? So I go ahead and click save and close. Now a quick way to check would be to go to the sales receipt, click the more tab, and choose transaction journal, right? It brings up the journal report, and you'll notice that I have the appropriate amount, 230-250. And it actually um, split them up because of FIFO, right? That was very interesting depending on when I actually purchased the books. And if I go to my products and service quick report, so gear icon products and services and then click the drop down arrow and report on which is a quick report on the item you would see how the sales receipt right, 9 are at 20925 and then one is at 2325 so that works out uh, with the journal entry as well and that is how you track and record donated inventory hope that was helpful have a great day